welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shauna, or you can call me Miss Moon Crystal, whatever vibes with you the most. I'm an intuitive empath, and I use the tarot to receive messages from the universe and to give guidance. So I'm starting this new thing where I wanted to do daily vids for y'all. I just felt um, guided to do it at this point. So... Right now, we are working on October the 30th, and this is your October the 30th energy reading. What is going to be the energy for October the 30th? I am still going to be doing some, um, you know, the zodiac, the monthly zodiac, the weekly energies, but I just really felt guided to do these uh, daily videos tapping into the energies. I love it. I love it so much. So let's see what October the 30th has for us as a collective. Once again, these are general readings. You may not resonate with everything that I'm saying. That's okay. Sometimes some people need to hear, uh, you know, messages at a certain time and then others don't. You may be the one that needs to hear the message today or your friend or someone else. So I'm going to shuffle these a couple times to see if I can pick up anything October the 30th. I feel a lot of relationship stuff going on, but also, well, some money and work things going on. So we started out with the Five of Cups in reverse, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, the Seven, or the, I'm sorry, the Six of Swords in reverse, and the World. Hmm. All right, so we're learning some lessons. So, today you may be fe uh, feeling like you're holding back. holding on to something from the past, but to move forward, you're going to have to kind of lift these restrictions, and what I mean is by this world card, this world card can mean the end of, you know, a cycle, um, but it can also show you the restrictions of a cycle, so I'm going to get a clarifier on this, just to make sure that I'm I feel like you're thinking about something else for sure and it's holding you back these are your restrictions at this point so October the 30th we're talking about um, making your mind up about something to move forward there's some restrictions going on in your life right now that you're trying to hold on to almost like okay I feel like this is what has to be done this is part of the world, this is part of the process, but you are not happy with them at all. And it's keeping you from moving forward with something that you're very passionate about. Let's clarify this Wheel of Fortune for y'all. Can you please clarify the Wheel of Fortune? So this makes sense with the energies right now. Like I said, um, there's a lot of career stuff going on, even love stuff, but once again, I feel like this is going to be career, stability, money, um, related stuff. And that's too much. So. Okay, so you've been given some decisions right now, I feel like, to move forward, but you're not uh, doing that. You're not making those decisions to move forward. You're not happy in your current situation, and you've been given some options, but you're unsure of them, because I feel like you're not sure if that's going to be the right thing to do for you or not, so you're kind of putting that in the back of your head and going, well, I'll just see if it works out. Well, I feel like universe, the universe spirit is telling you it's time to move forward to this new decision, and 
I think you know what to do deep down inside. Kind of seems cliche, but I do. I feel like those of you that are watching, you do have a feeling of what you're supposed to be doing. Um, but you're having, you're, you're pushing it down, you're pushing it down, you're ignoring the issue the whole time. So this thing that you're not moving forward with, not making decisions about, that'll move you away from actually feeling this way, if you can decide and make a decision to move forward, I feel like you're going to be successful with it. And yes, it's going to, you know, it's all going to go away. And I know as people, we do a lot of times like to hold on to things. Um, we have to hold on to things sometimes. We feel like that's our only control in life, but that's not true. Like when we have these options to move forward with things, we're making life changes. We're going with the flow of life. Um, we're stepping into that uh, divine energy that brings us to where we need to be as a, uh, as a soul um, in our journey. And so you may be thinking about something right now. I feel like you're definitely thinking about something. It's something that's weighing you down. Like, I feel like you're almost, okay, trapped in this. Instead of moving, like, if this was upright, you'd be moving or moving away from it and, like, having relations and, like, having clear thoughts and stuff. But since it's upside down, I feel like you're trapped by this right now. Um, you're not moving away. Like, somebody's in your face, like, no, 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 no. Like, you have to stay here. But where you're resolution is and where your restrictions end and where your new passions begin and where your abundance and when I say abundance I always mean that you're healthy mentally physically um, financially your whole life is balanced out <clears throat> so I like to see people completely balanced out in their life so when I ask the cards these things I try to uh, project that too so I'm not just asking on a career or financial level, or I'm trying to do it on a whole holistic level of things. So what I'm seeing is holistically, for you to move forward into abundant happiness is once again, you have everything that you need right now. And it's really up to you. And the, man the magician is the manifester to me. He's the one that puts that out there. Like you're already putting all that out there mentally. You're already telling the universe I'm not happy and for me to be happy I would feel better doing this or being here or you know maybe you're working too much right now and you want to be at home with your family more so you're trying to figure out a way um, or a job that will suit that for you more um, maybe you are trying to earn more money you're not sure where to go but you're putting all that out there right now and the magician tells me that you have everything you need to achieve that manifestation right now. You're just resisting at this point in something. So the resistance feels like an emotional tie to something else um, that you feel obligated to. And from what I'm seeing with this reading, that um, that's an illusionary tie is an illusion that um, that feeling that bondage that you're having to this is an illusion and for you to break free from this you're going to have to turn these cards upside down well this one actually and you're gonna to have to move away and make the decision you're going to have to make a decision and I feel like pretty quickly to move forward with something else and so you know, just as a disclaimer, I'm not telling you to go quit your jobs or anything like that. I don't need to be like, well, this girl on YouTube told me to quit my job. Um, I think 
you guys know deep down inside where you're supposed to be and what you're uh, where you're supposed to be moving forward to. It's just a matter of listening to that intuition and to yourself right now and fully tapping into it instead of saying, okay, well, you know, I kind of feel this, but I'm not fully letting go of this past stuff too. And we are, like I said, in that season, that time of year that we're digging out all that shadow stuff, all that past stuff right now. And it is coming to the surface. We're having to face it again. It's part of moving into the new year, into this next chapter, into this next cycle of our life. And to do that, you will have to take a look of, look at it right now. But I am feeling for you right now on October the 30th, if it does resonate with you, that this is some sort of sort of um, job or career or financial thing that's going on where you're having to make a decision and you are able to, and obviously check with your guide, check with spirit all the time. Don't just take my word for it and go back within and just really see if that really resonates with you. But I feel like it's time for you to move on from this, that you're holding on to this too much. And um, you need to let it come down and kind of crash for you to be able to be this King of Pentacles figure. So, my friends, today, if this resonated with you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing some daily vids now. So I'm really excited about this, being able to tap into these daily energies and do this for you guys. Um, let me know what you think. Um, I would love it if you left a comment below. And I really hope you guys have a blessed day and thank you for watching.